So we actually came to the idea from our first prototype through the challenge that we're supposed to answer with our class project. Uh, so and I were randomly assigned as part of a team that was tackling juiciness in plant-based meats. We started to think, yes, there's a lot of problems with the fat, with the moisture content of the meat, but there's also a problem with no physical barrier that can prevent these sort of things from running out of your product while you're cooking it. So then we started to look at how we could add a physical barrier to a plant-based meat and we thought, why not put a skin on it? This will have texture, crispiness, improve the marination, and improve the moisture retention. Uh, so that's how we kind of got the loose concept for the chicken drumstick idea. So there have been a lot of different resources that have helped us. Right from the outset, we relied very heavily on UC Berkeley's resources, especially those from the SCET. Uh, because as young student entrepreneurs from a biology background, we had no idea where to start. Uh, so some of the first connections that we made that really helped us were to Berkeley Law, to the Foreman Fund program, to start up at Berkeley Law, also to Skydeck where we joined the Hot Desk program. And it was really these connections that allowed us to sort of grow our startup and explore further opportunities. So we actually initially met uh, Nestle's folks through the alt-meat class. Uh, they used to send a representative to the class and so we were connected. Uh, we stayed in touch as we continued to work on our different ideas to develop our meat production process, our value proposition, and to really strengthen who we wanted to be as a company. When we got to Nestle, it was a really wonderful experience for us as entrepreneurs and as students even. Uh, it was a great crash course in terms of industrial manufacturing, food safety, quality. We absolutely learned a lot there had a great time launching our product, and uh, yeah, overall it was really delightful and very happy to have done it. There have been a lot of challenges for us uh, on this roller coaster of entrepreneurship. Probably the biggest one that we've faced so far is uh, learning how to operate and how to grow during the pandemic. This of course has been something that everyone has faced and uh, we are very lucky to have been able to continue uh, to work and to advance towards our mission during this time. And for the biggest success, I would say um, we have a great team um, and we're very excited to the team culture and also the dynamic we're building and we're very excited to what uh, this will take us to. What is next for Sundial Foods? Uh, there's a lot of things happening for us right now. So we're currently uh, actually sitting in the office at Indie Bio, a Bay Area biotech accelerator program. Uh, we're looking to raise our seed round in the summer of 2020, uh, growing our team and hoping to launch our product early next year. So keep an eye out for some Sundial chicken.